Alright guys, um, you join me today on the Devon coast to coast. We're just at Wembury Beach, just at the starting point, 117 miles to Lynmouth. So we're going to uh, get moving in a minute. I'm joined with, joined by Steve today. And yeah, we're going to enjoy the next uh, week or so having a bit of a walk. So yeah, catch you further on. Cheers. Getting a bit further on now. Just come from a come from a lovely cornfield. Just come across some poppies. Lovely to see. An absolute cracker of a day. I don't know if I'm going to be able to squeeze through here. No. No, I'm not going to get through there. Yeah, I, I reckon... <laughs> oh! Oh, yes! <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, we've just come down from up that way and uh, yeah, we've just come across the old uh, Pack Horse Bridge. Uh, I think it's this is the old mill. And this is where you had the um, Great Western Rail ran through here during uh, 1942. So, a lovely spot. So you get your leg over. Oh. Roasted chestnuts. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> right, we've just come through Dunstan and yeah, it won't be long before I think we end up going through Ermington or Errington, something like that. Yeah. Had a bit of rain, but just a short shower really. Luckily we were going through some uh, hedge cover really. So, yeah, or tree cover as it is. All right, just getting up to Errington. We come along the to a very creepy bridge. Don't worry, I'm, I've got Steve with me. <laughs> 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 Alright, we're just at Ivy Bridge, the official start of the two moors. So we've got that to do now. <laughs> this is the best tent I've ever had, mate. <laughs> <laughs> and it went up just like that. You were very fast, I didn't even see it go up. It yeah, I know, I built this. I built this myself. <laughs> Evening all. Um, we've just got past Ivy Bridge. Um, we've decided, because of the weather tonight, um, that we would... Uh, treat ourselves to a camping pod up at the Hartford um, bunkhouse and camping um, which is just about um, I would say a mile and a half probably two miles more like um, from the two moors turning from Ivy Bridge so yeah we're um, going to enjoy that tonight and rest up because my big toes are hurting. Um, Steve has got old man old man problems. 
But yeah, we're going to rest up um, and enjoy the evening. We'll see you in the morning. Cheers. All right, morning everyone. It is day two. We are just walking back from the um, Harford bunkhouse and camping. Uh, we had a lovely stay there actually. Stayed in a nice little glamping pod. And yeah, stayed out of the uh, rain last night and the uh, storm that went through. So yeah, it's good call. Cool. So it's just gone nine o'clock and uh, we're gonna walk back down this lane uh, about half a mile to a mile and uh, pick up the two moors junction towards um, Harford Moor and Hone. All right, see you later. Cheers. Hi right, guys, I said we've, we've crossed the, the tramway. I didn't do a lot of filming up there because the wind had come in and the, the rain had started. So it wasn't very pleasant walking along there. And there isn't much to see really along the tramway. But yeah, we now come down to the top and uh, there's the old Clapper Bridge. We'll be crossing in a minute. It crosses the Avon. I said if you follow this down, it'll bring you down to the um, Avon Dam. Uh, we'll be going up Hunton and Warren off that way, coming down towards Scorrington. Yeah, catch you guys later on. Cheers. Right guys, I say it's... Hey. Uh, <laughs> I was I was just making a recording. <laughs> you hear that in videos all the time. Yeah. What'd you say? <laughs> right guys, um, I so said we're just down from Huntington Warren, uh, right next to Huntington Cross actually. And yeah, we've decided to pitch up um, as the weather's going to come in bad. And yeah, it, I said we wouldn't get to Meltor till late, so we're going to do that tomorrow. Uh, the track has ruined our feet basically. We're um, going to even taking it slowly. So I've got a little blister forming on the bottom of my foot. I'm going to have to sort that out later on. But yeah, tomorrow we'll be heading into uh, Scorrington and down through to Meltor and we'll see where we get to from there. But yeah, I'm going to uh, make myself a nice coffee and I'll see you guys in the morning. Cheers. It is day three, um, just coming up to, just gone seven I believe, or getting near it. Yeah, we're just, we're just packing up. Um, camped a bit early last night, but that's mainly to avoid the heavy rain, which we had during the night. Um, but yeah, it did, it did ease off. And yeah, you know, fingers crossed it's going to be a... Nice sunny week. Yeah, we're just packing away. We're at Huntington Cross. And yeah, just remember, whilst you're out here, uh, leave no trace. Right, guys. Just come through um, Scorrington Ford, um, the chalk ford there, just down below there. Yeah, just walking up towards Scorrington now. Turning into a lovely day. And uh, I'll see you further on. 
some absolutely gorgeous views. Hi right, guys, so we just got into Hone and we were going to hopefully have a bit of cake and a nice coffee, but sadly yeah. it was closed. Yeah, not open today for some reason. Disappointed. Very. <laughs> Very disappointed. So we're going to carry on and uh, see where we next end up. Uh, catch you later on. Cheers. Yeah, so we're just walking down through home woods, um, walking aside the um, river darts and yeah, it's a beautiful area. Absolutely beautiful. So yeah, we're going to carry on for a bit and uh, see what happens. Anyway, see you there. We got down to Ponsworthy. The old thatched house. And the water crossing. And the two moors just goes through a gate through there. Okay. <laughs> Alright, see you later. Bye. Hi guys. Just want to show you the view. I think we're just going up towards Hameldown Beacon, that way. But it's just lovely, lovely to see all these tours on view. Yeah, I'm gonna keep heading up. See you in a bit. Right, guys, just a Hameldown tour. And yeah, that's it. I can see the Warren House Inn. And that's what we're aiming to get to um, this afternoon. And then we'll find somewhere to camp nearby. But hopefully to get there, have a, have a pint, have a nice meal. But yeah, I will see you further on. Cheers. Right, evening folks. I said it's just coming up to nine o'clock. I said it's getting a bit dark now. Yeah, we've um, we made it to the Warren House Inn from Huntington um, Cross. So yeah, we've done a fair amount of miles today, um, about seventeen uh, miles. So it was all all hills today. So it was a tough old slog, but yeah, we managed to get all the way up to um, the Warren House. Had something nice to eat. We did get wet for the last hour. Um, getting up there from Hockington Tour. Um, but yeah, we, we're all dry now, so that, that's a bonus. And we're set up. So we're gonna get up again early tomorrow, head out towards um, Chagford, and see where we're gonna go from there. Um, may end up going on towards Drewing Steinton, I believe it's called, something like that. But yeah. We'll let you know tomorrow. Um, my phone's got a full charge on it, but my battery pack has decided to say it's empty almost now. So um, we're hoping to find some sort of lodge or some, somewhere to stay tomorrow so we can charge stuff, dry anything out, out that we need and just rest our feet. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the morning. Cheers. We're just on Chagford Common. As you can see, that is the one of the longest um, double stone rolls around. 49 stones. That is goes all the way down. Yeah. So yeah, we're on the right route. Heading into a lovely day. Yeah, I'll bring me closer.
Hi guys, you join us. We've just gone past the open air swimming pool, um, just down from Chagford. Uh, we stopped in Chagford to get some supplies and have a bit of cake, um, bacon bap. Yeah, really nice. So we're heading towards, I'm going to butcher it anyway, it's Drew Steinton, I think it is, Drew Steinton. Yeah, so we're going to head there, pick up the Drew arms and see if we can get a bunk for the night. It does sound wrong, doesn't it? <laughs> but yeah, Steve's said he's going to take top bump, bunk, bump, bump. Yeah, but yeah, anyway, he's going to go on top. Well, that still sounds wrong. But anyway, I don't think he can get his leg up there anyway. Yeah. So I'll catch you guys later on. Cheers. <laughs> Right guys, we're just up in the Castle Drogo estate. I thought I'd bring you back to have a look at these views. Not the view of Steve, that view. Though, he is impressive. And somewhere up this way is uh, the actual castle itself. But we won't be seeing that today. Yeah, beautiful, anyway. Catch you further on. So yeah, we're at the Drew Arms in Drew Stainton. And yeah, we've got ourselves a bunk house for the night. So we're basically just getting things sorted. Yeah. Just get things charged up. Um, get the power bank charged up. And then um, most of our stuff is dry, so it's not too bad. And then we're gonna enjoy a shower. So yeah, I'll catch you guys in the morning on day five. Cheers.